Among the various roof styles used on residential buildings, the gable is by far the most common. And while most builders use prefabricated trusses, hand framing a roof is not inconsistent with OVE practice, provided that your rafters are spaced 24 inches on center and sized according to actual loads. In this section, we'll look at the steps involved in laying out common rafters for a gable roof with a 512 pitch. The pitch is the distance the roof rises vertically for every foot it runs horizontally. This is indicated on the drawings by this symbol. The first step in the framing process is to calculate the length of the rafter from the outside edge of the wall plate to where the rafter meets the ridge board. This can be accomplished by referencing the rafter tables on the framing square. With the face side up, locate the inch mark on the blade that corresponds to the unit rise, which in this case is five inches. The number directly below the inch graduations indicates the length of common rafters per foot of run. This is also known as the multiplication factor, which in our case is 13. Keep in mind that the total run is half the length of the span. To begin the calculation, multiply the total run by the multiplication factor, which is the number directly below the inch mark for unit rise. For example, if the total run is 15 feet and the unit rise is 5 inches, multiply 15 by the number directly below the unit rise, which is 13 on the framing square. This comes to 195 inches. Now, subtract half the thickness of the ridge board, which for 2 by lumber is 3 quarters of an inch. Finally, we'll convert this figure to feet by dividing by 12 to arrive at a rafter length of 16 feet 2 and a quarter inches.